minimum wage should be adjusted annually. The current federal minimum wage was set at $7.25 in 2009. Adjusted for inflation it would be $10.31. That's a loss of almost 30 when compared with inflation. Wages are indexed in Belgium. This means that almost every year, companies are forced to increase wages by a minimum based on inflation. This year, the index was 10, which was pretty nice on my January paycheck. The system is constantly under threat of neoliberal lobby groups though. Social security is indexed yearly and adjusted for inflation, makes sense to me that they at least do the same for the federal minimum wage. I've heard from various financial documentaries that it should somewhere around 20 hours if it kept up with any sort of relevant economic metric. Instead, the US continues on with the greatest wealth disparity in the history of capitalism. It should, but that still feels too low. I would take it a step farther, figure out an average how much it costs to rent a place to live, pay for utilities, car insurance, among other things and come up with a new minimum wage based on that. We deserve back pay or a dramatically higher minimum wage in return for the discounted labor the business world has made off of us by not budging the minimum wage for so long. People could finally meet all their financial obligations with maybe some room to spare for once. I'm surprised Missouri was able to raise it to 12. Or legalize weed for that matter. GOP it's not going happen. Quarterly. Adjusted quarterly. Minimum wage and social security should be tied to increase in lockstep with inflation. Should be pegged to inflation. So they raise in unison. It is reviewed annually where I'm from to Australia. Federal minimum wage is such a cursed policy by design because states and local governments can more easily and with less market disruption set minimum wages that are aligned with local conditions. Like it makes very little sense for any politician at the federal level to spend their time and political capital on raising it. Far easier to focus on your home state's minimum wage and once that's set why bother fighting to convince some asshole in Alabama to help constituents you don't rep. A lot of western countries have annual increases to the minimum wage. Every wage should be adjusted to compensate equally. I came here to say minimum wage does get increased every year. Then I owe USA. Most companies pay well above the federal or even state minimum wages today. I don't think raising it will matter much anymore. The minimum wage has been used as a tool lately to try to crush competition of big businesses. As an example a few years ago Amazon raised their minimum to 15 and then tried lobbying the US government for a $15 minimum wage to try to hurt smaller competition. Minimum wage at company X should be a percentage of exec compensation. Expect get pay or stock or s the base you figure minimum wage from. Keep the exec pay from getting out of hand and if it gets out of hand it's good for all of us. Disney CEO makes 400 more than lowest Disney employee. That's BS. Just find a better paying job. It is, in many states. It used to be, all incomes would get cost of living bumps. We need our labor laws put back together. Adjusting min wage to inflation would completely defeat the purpose of why the feds create inflation in the first place. They are using California as tester for a high minimum wage, hence 4.58 gas. A girl can dream. Minimum wage should be pegged to Congress salaries. The workers should own the means of production. I am in NZ where the minimum wage has gone up hugely, not a bad thing. However, a lot of companies are not increasing wages on people earning more so we have this situation where people in starting jobs are creating closer and closer to people with years of experience. It feels like companies plan to have us all on minimum eventually. NJ is going to a $15 minimum in January. We are 14 something now. I am sure if the GOP gets full control of the federal government next year, they will pass a law that no state can have a higher minimum than the federal level. It'll never happen, 
The minimum wage fight is too valuable for politicians to campaign on. At best we'll get occasional increases when Democrats have control but they will not index it to inflation. In general though this is more useful as a local fight as cost of living varies wildly around the country. Maybe it will go to $7. 75 hours in 2030. That's honestly about the best we could hope for, these fucking ghouls don't care about you starving to death. And there's so little talk and movement on it, I expect us to one day reflect and the only story that will need to be told is can you fucking believe minimum wage didn't budge for 20 whole years as costs and inflation went crazy? Fucked. It boggles my mind that the minimum wage is still the same as when I was a teenager working my first job ever. Now I'm a college graduate with 7 years of work experience lol like what reality is this that they expect anyone to survive at all on 7 bucks an hour. And my taxes should go somewhere else rather than in a congress member's pocket so they can do insider trading. I feel like lowering the cost of living is more advantageous of a policy agenda. Increase housing supply. Subsidize higher education. Subsidize childcare. Without that higher wages just get absorbed by expenses. So prices on everything will rise at the same rate or higher than you minimum. Don't cry over minimum wage. Learn to be more than minimum. Not just that but based off annual CPI changes. If CPI goes up 4% minimum wage must also go up by at least 4%. Don't know anyone that pays less than $9-$10 unless you're a server. I'm in deep I'm also talking about deep midwest so it's probably higher in other parts of country. It was. Until Reagan. Yep, and any pay raise is not keeping pace with inflation should be rightly called pay cuts. Even then, at $10 that is not a livable wage. Minimum of course, not livable. Vic me. Europe here. It is adjusted annually in my country. In Australia it's $23.23 per hour more if you are casual. Federal minimum wage should be different per state, and be based on cost of living. It should be a percentage that increases based on inflation and shouldn't be a set number. Part of the issue is that low cost of living versus high cost of living, minimum wage shouldn't necessarily be the same for both areas. But you know logic and common sense don't exist in politics. Every quarterly. Yup. Could not agree more. SS is way behind, too. It's ridiculously low. Half of the poverty rate. Annually and regionally. 25 hours is great for Midwest etc. But San Fran? LA? New York? No way anyone can survive on that. If it was city specific I would agree. Even with state level minimum wage there can be huge variations in cost of living and inflation rates. What an original hot take that isn't posted endlessly. It should never decrease. Companies would think twice to price gouge with indexed increases to minimum wage. They know that if they raise prices they might just have to foot a higher wage expense. Although that system might also cause unemployment to rise. It's a good idea, I just know companies will find other ways to fuck us over though. Most countries have some independent body who are supposed to review the pay situation regularly, and find the best course of action. It was for decades. Like most modern problems, this one was caused by Reagan. Taxes tiers for low income earners need to be adjusted to match inflation too. But then they can't make bullshit promises every election cycle. Really, it should be based on the rent of a one bedroom apartment. Nothing fancy, just a normal apartment. And then multiply that by three, since that's what every landlord ever expects you to make. After taxes, of course. It seen another post about this and had a look, in the UK early 2000s it was about £5 par, now it's about 10 and change was surprised not at all surprised to see the US so far behind although I'm not sure I'd call the UK far ahead. Forget minimum wage, we need a living wage which, adjusted for inflation would be closer to $25 per hour.